With an Ebola type virus lurking around in the state, are the people aware that bats which are hunted in certain parts of the state carry the deadly philo virus, a family of viruses that includes the Ebola, thus possibly putting people at risk of contracting the virus? Well, scientists from the National Center for Biological Sciences, Bangalore, recently discovered antibodies to Ebola-like viruses in blood samples of humans and bats in Nagaland, signaling the presence of viruses that could cause hemorrhagic fevers, although India does not yet have a record of Ebola disease. The researchers include Uma Ramakrishnan and Pilot Dovi, a PhD student hailing from Manipur, analyzed the blood serum samples from bats hunted by people in Nagaland's Mimi village, close to the Myanmar border. And the results of the study revealed that some bats sampled in the study may have been exposed to philo viruses. Not only this, five of the 85 human serum samples taken from the villages contained antibodies, which meant there was enough evidence of immune re reaction against philo viruses. I know we have reactions coming in from Anish Andhebia, one of uh, India's uh, well-known carnivore biologist and uh, wildlife photographer. Let's listen. First of all, uh, let me make it very clear that people and bats have been interacting for more than 100,000 years. And so I don't think uh, there is an issue on that front. And also the antibodies that have been found only s says that they that there are pathogens like Ebola, which humans have fought. So it has not caused mortality. Yes, this is one of the first studies, and so it seems alarming, but if you were to do these studies all across the country, uh, you will find that there will be such uh, exchange of pathogens between several species. And as long as there is no mortality on either side, we should not be alarmed. We should take note of this and keep a vigil which means there has to be a program that the government runs so that uh, samples from different populations are taken on a regular basis. And uh, Jinnachu Zoo Professor Kunming Institute of Botany also spoke on the same issue. Uh, more than 10 years ago, China we have very bad diseases called SARS. So SARS actually from a wild meat and from wildlife hunting. And later on, the scientists found actually the original virus are from bats in the cave of central China. So the bats connect to wildlife, wild meat, then it's become problem in diseases. So in any way, we need to be careful. We have to respect the habitat, don't do wildlife hunting, and don't disturb the bats' habitat. So that's the lesson from Chinese experience.